Hi, I'm Dan Dow, uh, owner and managing director of Steam and Weeds. This technology is uh, Australian technology, been designed in Canada and then moved to the Australia and now it's uh, coming out of there. I'm importer and distributor across Canada for the brand of Weed Technics. What they're doing is they're creating saturated steam and so the machines are uh, superheating water up to about 120 Celsius. It stays superheated throughout the system and when it comes out of the patented applicator nozzle systems, it flashes into a mixture of boiling water and steam. So that's, that's basically what we're doing on the weeds is we're creating saturated steam to kill them. So the seed bank depletion, um, the way that it works and what they're noticing is basically when you go through on a long-term crop, every application is not just affecting the weeds, but we're stratifying and sterilizing off the seed beds that's there. But we're also germinating some of the seeds that did not get hot enough to get sterilized off. We are still creating a weed issue, I guess, with that. And so what we want to do is we want to bring those, those seeds to growth or sterilize them. And then on our next pass through, we kill off that new growth. Any new growth um, is affected negatively uh, just after one application. So if we can consistently get those seeds germinated and kill them off, then they're getting such a great uh, depletion. It does not kill the root system of all weeds upon initial contact. It's more successful on the annuals rather than perennials. But what we're doing is we're actually uh, putting the weed into a thermal shock state. And so the, the saturated steam is removing the waxy cuticle layer and expanding and blowing up the cells of the leaves, leading it into dehydration and it also is affecting the meristematic cell, which is putting it into a different growth state. So it's uh, not killing the roots upon initial contact, but we are depleting the energy in the root reserves to starve out the weed and to kill it. So it is very successful, it's just not a one-time application kill. It's more of a programmed approach and uh, just another tool in the toolbox to get the job done. What we're trying to do is we're trying to, like I mentioned before, extinguish the root reserves, but we're also negatively affecting the seed beds that are in the ground as well. So if we were to just do an application and leave it throughout the season, as most farmers know, if you don't pay attention to your ground, it's gonna get covered in weeds. So we still recommend the five applications, but you're gonna get such a decreased population that you can get through your fields much quicker than you would upon your initial application. The feedback honestly has been kind of all over the place. We've got uh, lots of customers who are loving the weed kill and the seed bed depletion. There is uh, and there has been some farmers who have purchased and used the equipment to replace their existing chemical usage. If we're dealing with organic farmers who do not have the chemical approach, then they're very successful and they're very pleased. If we're dealing with conventional farmers who are still utilizing chemicals, the, the lack of speed of application is a hindrance to them. They, they, they don't like the slowness of it, and so they're still kind of putting it on the back burner and going back to using chemicals. It's not necessarily designed, like I said previously, for really tight spaced crops. Carrots, um, some spinaches are like that as well, lettuces. So I wouldn't really recommend it for those type of situations, but anything that's got a little bit more spacing. Our applicators have about a minimum width of about, about two to three inches. So if you've got anything that's spaced closer together, more close together than that, then it's definitely not recommended for that situation. It's really designed for all weed issues. Basically a long-term crop such as blueberries, hascat berries, stuff that never needs to get replanted yearly, it's more successful on because it's utilizing that seed bed depletion. But it doesn't mean that people that are growing vegetables um, aren't using it. There's still vegetable growers that are utilizing it as well. They're just utilizing it more for a pre-bed, getting everything ready for them to plant rather than uh, inter-row control as the growing season goes on.